What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Joey Jr. 93, aka you know it already, and I'm back with some more WWE 2K14 gameplay for you guys. In the last WWE video, Sheamus has defeated Randy Orton and became the new United States Champion. But Randy Orton invoked his rematch clause right away, no hesitation. So this is where this match comes about. So it's another 20-minute Iron Man match. False kind of work, extreme rules, rules on epic, all these computers, you guys already know the drill. And now Sheamus, the new United States Champion. Ironically, also on Raw, he's the United States Champion as well. So, or on WWE, I should say. And, um, you know, Randy Orton, no more contender. Sheamus, the new United States Champion. So, this is what we're going to do. Um, when the title match comes, and then the champion loses, they get a rematch. If they lose again, it's over. But if the other person wins, then we have one more match. It'll be best of three, no matter what. Even if it's a draw, or the champion retains, champion loses, it doesn't matter. Because it doesn't matter what your name is, how The Rock will say. So, that's just how it is. We'll do like a best of three. Alright, so I got the raw results for June 9th. 2014, right away the authority come out, Triple H and Seven McMahon, and they're saying that they have to resolve some issues with the WWE World Heavyweight title, and then we get a clip from Dr. Maroon, who's Daniel Bryan's doctor, and they're saying that Daniel Bryan cannot compete, we have a road trip by Sheamus and fucking resurrection, welcome back to my carnage into the fucking, fucking resurrection video they ever cover, Raph 1, 2, go kick out 278 channel, wow, I, I, I think that was the road kick, I like, I looked away, alright, so, we find out that Daniel Bryan cannot compete at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view and defend the WWE World Heavy title against Kane. So, instead of stripping him of the title and giving the title to Kane, yeah, he still gets stripped of the title because he can't defend it because it'll be over a month. So, they have to do his best for business. So, the Money in the Bank ladder match will be a WWE World Heavyweight title match. The vacated WWE World Heavyweight title, both titles will be suspended on the top. And you have to climb the ladder and grab both titles. You win, there you go. Got to kill you happens if you grab one and then someone pushes you. Are you that champion only? That would be pretty interesting. But we'll see what happens as it progresses. We only know so far. We know that Money in the Bank, 2014 Money in the Bank pay-per-view is Sunday, June 29th, 2014. We know that Alberto Del Rio is in the Money in the Bank ladder match. He has won his match last week against Dolph Ziggler. So, you know, that's what they're talking about. That Well, not that, but, you know, that they had to vacate the title. And then Triple H says that he believes in Seth Rollins. So Seth Rollins will, you know, he, he's saying that Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns will be in action tonight against the Wyatt family in a six-man tag team match, and they have to choose a partner if they can find one. And then we have the first match of the night. A champion versus champion match. Shades of what? A week or two ago? The United States champion Sheamus versus the Intercontinental champion Bandos Barrett of the Barrett Barrage. And this is a WWE World Heavyweight Championship qualifying match. Whoever wins will be the second man in this match. I'm not sure how many people. I'm not sure if it's six or eight people for this Money in the Bank match. But we will find out. So the match is going in. Bandos Barrett tries to go for a bull hammer. But Sheamus moves out of the way. Does white noise. Get the two count. And then after that. Um, Sheamus has a broad kick out of nowhere, of course, to the fucking resurrection, and Sheamus wins the match. So now we know that Sheamus and Alberto Del Rio are in the Money in the Bank ladder match. And then we have the next match, which is a two-second match, Alexander Rusev versus Zack Ryder, and basically, uh, Zack Ryder tries to go in at first, he can't, Rusev does a fucking super kick to him, he's a Shawn Michaels fan, and then he does his finisher, the accolade, his submission. And Zack Ryder taps out a matter of seconds. Alexander Rusev wins the match. The next match we have Goldust. And another partner he chooses. Um, or Truth. Versus Ryback and Curtis Axel. So match is going in. And our Truth gets taken out. By uh, I think it was uh, Curtis Axel. And then Ryback. And uh, then Goldust takes out Ryback. So now Curtis Axel and... Goldust are the proper men, and uh, Curtis Axel just does a cheap roll up to Goldust and wins the match. So Curtis Axel and Ryback win the match. Um, and we have a little segment with the Shield, and uh, you know, three and B come out, 
And then Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose come and they just beat the hell out of 3MB because they are fucking pissed at what Seth Rollins did. Like, they did not expect Seth Rollins to betray them, you know? But it happens, you know? Seth Rollins is the architect, or was the architect of the shield. He's the one that made the shield, and now he's gone. So, you know, I, I don't know. And then they're telling everyone to bolt, no, not, not bully, but they're telling everyone to believe in the shield because they're not done with evolution just yet. It just, just start, oh, kill my Orton! So the fucking interaction, Sheamus, he busts up and cover, Raph, one, two, three, oh, they each have a point. Randy, Randy had one point, Sheamus one point, alright. The next match is, fuck, dog, go. You have to emphasize the A's like he does. And Damian Sandow versus WWE Tag Team Champions. So, oh, so the son of a Kishi, Jimmy J. Uso. Match is going in. Uh, Damian Sandow. And I still get confused with the Usos. And one Uso is not a proper man. And they do a super kick to Sheamus. I mean, fail. Oh my. I can't think right now. Does a super kick to Sandow. To the fuck resurrection. And then, you know, the, when the Usos pin Sandow. And that's it. The Usos win the match. And so yeah, the next match, here we go, Xavier Woods vs. Bo Dallas, you have to believe, like he does, this is a rematch from like a week or two ago, and um, match is going in, and then Bo Dallas has the running Bulldog, to a fucking resurrection, I love this move, it's fucking awesome, what other Miz will say, awesome, and Bo Dallas wins the match. And after that we have Cesaro vs. Ron Van Dam. A WWE World Heavyweight Championship qualifying match. Whoever wins will be the third man in this match. Mind of my ladder match. So, match is going in. RVD goes with Rolling Thunder, gets a two count. And then, after that, Cesaro catches him. When Robin then tries to go for the top into the five star fox splash. And then Cesaro is neutralizing him to the fucker resurrection. And Cesaro wins the match. So, Cesaro is the third man now in this match. Mind of my ladder match. So, we have Abel De Rio, Sheamus, and Cesaro. And then after that, oh, and we also find out early on, fuck, I, I apologize, Randy Orton is automatically in the match. So that's four people in this match, and I'm, I'm really curious on what the fuck, how many people are left, you know, like, this is going to be fucking good. Um, after that, we have the Divas Champion Page, a Divas match, the Divas Champion Page versus Alicia Fox, it's a rematch from Payback, and, um, match is going in, and then, uh, Oksana's involved, like, she tries to help Alicia Fox in the match, but, uh, Paige throws Alicia Fox into Oksana, and then Paige was her finisher to PTR, I forgot what it's called, but, um, you know, obviously to the fucking resurrection, of course, and then, oh, wait, yeah, yeah, it's a submission move, there we go, so that's, that Scorpion Deathlock, so, um, Alicia taps out in a matter of seconds, Paige wins the match, and that's it. And after the match, Oksana tries to help Alicia Fox, but Alicia Fox beats the heart of her. And that's it. Uh, the next match, we have Santino Morello versus Jack Swagger. Santino is still defeated, which means he lost every fucking match. And Jack Swagger is still defeated. So one of these men, one of these men will have, you know, a victory. So the match is rolling in. Santino tries to go for the Cobra. Uh, Jack Swagger pushes the Cobra down and then does a gun wrench powerbomb. So the fucking resurrection of Jack Swagger wins the match. And then, after that, the main event for this evening is the Y family versus the Shield, and their chosen partner, no other than the, well, he's not really the champ, but he will eventually, John Cena. So, you know, I want him to be champion again, but we'll see what happens. So, you know, Cena is still involved now with the Y family, but it's whatever. Uh, match is rolling in, and, um, this, uh, Cena makes a tag to Roman Reigns, and then Luke Harper gets tagged in as well. Roman Reigns he beats the hell out of Luke Harper, and then John Cena takes out Eric Rowan, but um, by Wyatt does a sister Abigail to Cena, and then uh, Roman Reigns does a Superman punch to Bray Wyatt, and then Dean Ambrose suicide dives to Eric Rowan, and then Roman Reigns does a huge fucking super kick to uh. To Luke Harper as a proper man gets a two count, and he, after that he spears the fuck out of Luke Harper. All these moves are to the fucking resurrection. All signatures and finishers are to the fucking resurrection all the time, both in game and in WWE. And um, Roman Reigns wins for the team, so 
Roman Reigns, Dean Ambrose, and John Cena win the match. Yeah, to that, Triple H and Seth Rollins are looking, you know, uh, from the stage, and they're like, ah, oh, these fucking guys, Ecto, you know, like, talking shit. And that's it. So that's the raw results for June 9th, 2014. Now we can go back to the match. So now there's a table involved. I like this. Alright, well, I want to talk a little bit for a couple minutes left. I just saw the trailer, well, gameplay demo of Batman Arkham Knight. Now, it got delayed to 2015, and I'm not surprised this was going to happen. I actually, like, considered it, but I didn't think it was going to happen, and then it did. So, because, you know, every two years is an Arkham game. We have Batman Arkham Asylum, which came out 2009, Batman Arkham City, which came out 2011, Batman Arkham Origins, which came out in 2013, and so far, and not so far, and now we have Batman Arkham Knight coming out 2015, so it makes sense, you know, a two-year range, so you have more time to work on the game, it's a four, five-minute, uh, gameplay, and, um, basically, you know, you're doing a part for the Penguin, like, you have to track down the Penguin, you go in a Batmobile, and then you shoot, uh, these Arkham Knight drones, like, these tanks, and, it's fucking ridiculous, like, oh my god, Goodness, this fucking game for and it's PS4 gameplay. How the Rock will say, finally, they're doing gameplay for PS4 and not Xbox One. I get sick and tired of Xbox always having these fucking demos and shit. And it's like, it's like it's basically, they're, they're cursing at PS and you know, PlayStation. I'm getting aggravated because I'm a PlayStation person. And I don't like that. You know, I feel offended. And, you know, now with some PS4 gameplay, because it, it is coming out for PS4 and Xbox One. I'm not sure if it's for PC as well. Pretty sure it will be, but I'm not sure. So, you know, you go in the Batmobile and it's fucking sick. Oh my goodness, like, see, you know, sometimes there's traffic, there are pedestrians on the road, you know, crossing the street. So it's awesome. I'm, I, I, you know, the person playing did not crash into anyone, but, you know, I'm curious what happened if you do, you know? You are the Batman, so, you know, you technically don't kill people. So, you know, I wonder what happens, but, you know, time will tell. And the gameplay looks more sick than before. You could dive. Uh, you could dive out of the Batmobile. It's fucking sick. When I dive, you could jump out of the Batmobile and start fucking flying like a bat. It's like Billy Gunn. It's fucking ridiculous, this game. So, somewhere in 2015. Hopefully, the beginning. Because if it comes out at the end of the year, that's a whole year to wait. And I don't want that. I, I don't know. But. And then there's a. And then there's, uh, at the end of the, the game. Of the demo. Gameplay. Uh, Scarecrow's talking shit, saying they have to accept the fear, and stuff like that. It's fucking awesome, like, I'm cr I'm, I'm fucking out, flipping out right now. And a spear by Sheamus to that fucking table, and Randy went through the table, and, um, we have less than a minute left in this match, but it, it, it was crazy, ladies and gentlemen. You gotta watch it from IGN, all credible side shit. Oh my goodness, like, just go on the YouTube channel and fucking watch that shit. Woo! Fucking crazy, going E3 was today, well, yesterday. Uh, June 9th, 2014, Monday, June 9th, 2014, I didn't watch it, but I'm gonna see what kind of games are available, uh, this final score is, oh, bro, keep my Sheamus in a fucking resurrection, I was about to say Sheamus 3 points, Rainer right 2 points, but we recover 1, 2, 3, Sheamus 4 points, Rainer right 2 points, so we have about 10 seconds now in this match, we all know who's retaining the United States title, but it was, it was a good match, you know, that, that massacre before, 14-7, that was their first encounter, now it's 4-2. to two. So the final score, shame is 4 points, Reno and 2 points. And here is your winner, and still, the United States Champion, the Celtic Warrior, the Great White, Sheamus. That's it. And this video and commentary is coming to an end. So this is Joey Jr. 93, a.k.a. you know it already. I hope you guys liked the video in the, in the commentary. Stay tuned for more Carnage and to the fucking Resurrection videos. And I will be live streaming Batman Arkham Knight in all PS4 games that I get in the future. Just saying, I will find out how to save it and post it on YouTube, the whole thing, so you guys can watch it. I uh, mean, you know, if you guys can, like, comment and help me out, because I don't know, I'm trying to, like, find out myself, because I've never done it before, to, uh, transfer it to YouTube, like, live stream videos, saved. But we'll see what happens. I'll ask my friends and, and you know, I'll ask people and see what happens. And show off. And stay tuned for the next video.